Hello and welcome to QLab. In this video we're going to explore the synthesis of iron acetate or ferric acetate. Now unfortunately I lost a bit of footage for this one so it's going to be a very short video but I just want to briefly explain how I arrived at the solution that we're going to start working with. I had some rusty tools and some rusty nails and I basically just soaked them in a 20% solution of acetic acid for I think it was, it was a few months. I literally just left it there because I was interested in cleaning them up more than making this acetate. But then what I had left over from that was this lovely red solution that had a whole load of other bits of gunk in it like uh, rust or iron oxide and some other little bits and bobs. So I filtered that all off and what I was left with was a lovely red solution and it was a slightly acidic solution as well because there was more acid, there was an excess of acid in that 20% acetic acid solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate some of the iron 3 acetate from that solution and have a look at it. So let's get started. What I want to do is reduce this down by about two thirds until we've got about that much liquid and then see if we can get some iron 3 acetate to precipitate and then we can collect that as one of our iron compounds. So let's ramp the heat up and let this evaporate away. Should always mention, most of this iron chemistry isn't too bad. The worst that it'll do is stain you. But what you do want when we're evaporating off lots of solvents and things is to have good aeration. It's like window open and any fans on that you can have on. Right, let's crack on with it. So we'll turn the heating off and then we'll keep it stirring so that it can cool slowly down to room temperature. We don't want anything burning on the bottom. So let's keep the stirring on and we'll let this cool down slowly. So I've allowed the iron acetate, the iron 3 acetate to dry out. Now we're going to scrape it, I don't know if you can see there's some powder in there, but we'll scrape it all out and have a look at it on the watch glass. So here we have it, the final iron 3 acetate. You can see actually some of it's really red and some of it looks sort of really almost black. That's just because they haven't been ground down. If you were to grind down these nice big bits you would get this lovely red colour as well. You can see it there. And the main uses of this are as a dye or a mordant for staining wood. It can be useful to give it an aged appearance and I think, I might be completely wrong here, but I think in Sweden they use it also as a colouring in the wood that goes on the houses and it acts as a preservative. So, a little bit of chemistry. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was just a short one, but I didn't really want to miss out that compound in our iron chemistry. And it's a very pretty one. It's got almost these crystalline-like surfaces that are very, very pretty. Anyway, if you like this chemistry, why not subscribe to the channel? And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!